who is spoiled as the angry spirit is. His gift was stolen. Oh. That's, that. That's the boat. Oh, on the old, we must. A deep dive. Oh, it's underneath. Oh. It's underneath, dude. Yeah, look at... I don't know. If you come up where I am, there is a hole. Coming. Very deep down. Oh. Really? Look at that hole. Don't ever say that to me again, okay? Dude, look at the hole. <laughs> Stop it. Let's see. <laughs> Oh my, there's no way we make, well, I don't make that. Oh, we're gonna have to get full, right, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping right now. I'm getting full stamp. I'm ready to go when you are, dude. You sure? I'm just gonna drop in the water and then, let's do it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. This way. Listen to the waterfall, that's where we came from. Yep. So, yeah, you, on you, go. Oh, we made it! Dude, we actually made it! How cool is this? I, okay, uh, to break immersion a little bit, the map design of the, the depths has been... Yeah, it's been we, amazing. Bueno. Like, actually yeah. amazing. We haven't really all said right. much about the game so far, no. but we've enjoyed all of it. Every single bit of it. They've done such a good job. I feel like Indiana Jones too. Like the yeah, so cool. <laughs> this is really cool. This might be the coolest one yet. So we're looking for what they call the the, the altar. Oh. Wait, what did they say? Hold on, hold on, just checking. Uh, yeah, the altar we must pray. Dude, is it jumping? Oh, oh look. Fall down. Yeah, okay. I'm going to give a bit of space to us. Here we go. Nice. Oh! This is where we, we yeah, live yeah. down here. Yep. You remember this? This is where all the paintings are. Where we said early on. Yep. This is really, really cool. I don't like the cobwebs. No, that's gross. What do you say? Oh, no. What? Wait, can we walk here? Yeah, you can get around that. <gasps> oh, hug it, hug it. That made my bones, oh, and my legs itch. Getting there. Oh, instead of monkey get eaten by something. Dude, it's so quiet. <laughs> this is amazing. I would love to do this. If there was guaranteed safety and like exploring caves like this, I would love to do it. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is absolutely out of an Indiana Jones movie. The Walk of Faith. Oh no. Ha! <gasps> you know how it went last time. Go on, get, wait, wait for your stamina to go and you got this. Oh, look yeah. at you go. <laughs> You got this. Oh, this is old. Look at all these cobwebs. Yeah. Imagine if there is a big spider at the end Stop of it. Stop it. Why would you <laughs> do that? Okay, next time we go through that hole, I'm going to say, imagine there's an anaconda just going to grab your leg. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Wait, where is the altar then? I've not really <coughs> oh, no, I thought it was that. <coughs> oh, dude, look at this. There it is. Is this actually where we begun? Like on top of that, you think? Wait, where? This, this is not the altar that I thought it would be. Yeah, oh, we've definitely wow. not been here before. Unless, like you said, no. we started at the top of it. Can I place the thing on it? Oh, this is what we found oh, on the. Oh, it. I see. Oh, fire. Oh, we gotta do a fire fisk. We gotta do a fire. Oh. Whoa. No wonder it was stolen. Yeah, we did it. New dialogue unlocked. Talk with Elder. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Look what that does. Look what it does. Oh! So, okay, there's holes in it. It reflects on that, so yep. it turns into a human face, is it? <laughs> Don't know, dude. You see a face? Yeah, I see. you see the eyelashes right there. Angry spirit. Yep. Yeah, that's what it says, isn't it? <laughs> spirit. spirit is angry. You know what I would be really happy if this ended up being? What? That we have to jump down into the water from high up above. 
How cool would that you think be? we'll have to do that? No. <laughs> because I never get what I want, you know? Oh. I never get to be happy. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. God. I, can't, I can't stare, so there we go. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I landed on your neck, then you just died immediately. I'd be so sad. So we have to... What did he say? We, we need to go back uh, and talk to Magwai. Talk to Maggie, nice. Oh, dude, are we going to get to the next section now? I, I really, really don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. I'm going to be so sad. Oh, I really... I, I, I Do you think we need to drink some more ayahuasca? Regardless, I think we have to. <laughs> to celebrate. Yeah. Is oh, he going to take us on that thing. crazy trip again? Whoa. If it is the same trip, we just gonna be like, nah, cannonball, dude. dude, cannonball right now, cannonball, do cannonball, it. do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's the weakest cannonball I've ever seen. Dude, I just <laughs> fall, fell flat. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's <laughs> go, right, okay. snap, no, go, any minutes, yes, no, oh, good call. With the Google Nest doorbell, know if it's a mate, a teammate, or any bets. Security with Google Smarts on the Google Nest doorbell. it let us out to? Uh, this is where we were after you panicked, yes. Wait. This is the way. Is it? <gasps> oh! oh! I thought I heard something! I got it, I got it. <sighs> How you feeling? I, Are you good? I was gonna go find my mouse, dude. <laughs> So hard across. <laughs> <laughs> I was just that. That just hit me. That I. I thought like, oh, I think there's a cat here, and then I heard something, and then I turned around, and it was. Can you do me a dude. favor from now on? You know when you think things like that, can you say them out loud for me? Because <laughs> I nearly dropped a poop. Like really, like. <laughs> He says I restored the altar, and we're going for it. Oh, he says. Oh. Jacko, that's your name, dude. Jacko. So there we go. We got it. I'm really happy with that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look at the uh, trust now, then. So. Prison is pretty much impossible, but this man was able to do it twice. Welcome back, Charlie here. Joaquin Guzman, better known as El Chapo, is now inside America's worst prison. Today you're going to find out what his life is really like behind bars, and get a rare look inside his cell. El Chapo is the most successful criminal to ever live. At his peak, he had a net worth of $3 billion. He was the leader of the Sinaloa cartel. The Mexican cartel supplied narcotics to countries all over the world. This made El Chapo one of the most powerful people on the planet, according to Forbes magazine. El Chapo has been an active criminal since the 1980s, but he became famous in 1993. That was when a rival cartel tried to take El Chapo's life, and in the process accidentally took the life of a prominent cardinal. This shocked and disgusted Mexico, but eventually the Mexican government tracked down El as one of Mexico's worst prisons, or at least that's what it's like for most people. You see, El Chapo paid off all of the guards at La Palma prison. He had girls, parties, booze, and cigars brought in every day. His stay in La Palma prison was more like a five-star hotel than a prison. But in 2001, El Chapo got tired of his time behind bars. He paid a prison guard to open up his cell. He then got into a laundry cart and escaped from prison. As soon as he got out, he got back to work. And it was during these years he made the Sinaloa cartel what it is today. The biggest and one of the most feared cartels on the planet. But 13 years later, El Chapo was captured once again in 2014. This led to El Chapo breaking a world record. That is, most time on the run as a drug lord. When he was arrested, he was taken to Mexico's most secure prison. 
That is Altiplano Prison. This time, El Chapo could not buy anyone off. He spent 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. But in 2015, El Chapo escaped once again. But how did he break out of the impenetrable maximum security prison? Take a look at this surveillance footage from inside El Chapo's cell. He ducks behind his shower wall and then simply disappears. He was able to escape through a secret underground tunnel. He then escaped through that using a motorbike. The tunnel was 5.7 feet tall, exactly El Chapo's height. It also had air ducts and lights too. Now, you may be wondering, how did no one notice a tunnel being built under a maximum security prison? Well, it turns out El Chapo had some serious political connections. The prison officials were told to ignore the very loud noises. From this leaked surveillance footage with sound, you can see that everyone would have clearly heard what was going on. But they chose to ignore it because they were paid, and perhaps even threatened. After El Chapo's second escape, he was arrested for a third time. The Mexican army apprehended El Chapo, and this time he was not going anywhere. His luck had run out. He was extradited to New York, and as soon as he was found guilty, he was taken to ADX Florence. ADX Florence being the worst prison in the United States. ADX Florence was built to make sure that no one ever escapes. And since its opening in 1994, no one ever has. But let's take a look at El Chapo's prison cell. All over the prison are motion detectors. There are even pressure pads to see where people walk. Every inch of the prison is monitored by cameras at all times. There's also over 1,400 remote-controlled steel doors. El Chapo's prison cell is basically a miniature fortress. The only materials used are concrete and steel. It's only 7 by 12 feet. Inside the cells are a small bed made from concrete. There's also a tiny concrete stool and desk. And a metal toilet too. There's also a metal shower which has a timer. You may wonder why put a timer on a shower. Well, ADX Florence is so intimidating, many inmates would rather not be alive. So, to make sure they can't drown themselves, every shower has a timer. To make things even worse for El Chapo, his prison cell is soundproof. This means he can't communicate with any other inmates in nearby cells. El Chapo cannot interact with anyone inside ADX Florence. But what is life like for some other very dangerous inmates locked inside America's worst prisons? Let's take a look at this very scary criminal named Nico Jenkins. This man looks menacing and scary, but what he did is even more terrifying. He has been a criminal since a young age. He would have illegal firearms and also do carjackings too. But in 2013, he went on a killing spree. He took four lives in ten days. One of his victims was even taken out in front of their own child. Nico was soon arrested. But why did he do these seemingly random murders? Well, in an eight-hour interview with police, Nico revealed everything. Nico said the people were sacrifices to the ancient Egyptian god Apophis. It's clear Nico has serious mental problems. He was sentenced to great into capital punishment. Right now, he is in Tecumseh Maximum Security Prison. This prison is incredibly rough. It's known for prison riots. And the prison is so intimidating, many inmates take their own lives behind bars. Nico actually tried to do this twice, but at the moment, he is still alive. Finally, let's look at a very scary prison named San Quentin Prison. This is known as the worst prison in Los Angeles. It was where Richard Ramirez, better known as the Night Stalker, was held. From 1984 to 1985, Richard Ramirez took 15 lives. For this, he was given 19 death sentences. While he waited for this, he was held at San Quentin Prison. This prison <coughs> is known for gang activity. Some of the USA's most dangerous people are sent here. And the prison is also known for riots. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below, do you think these prisons are too- This guy is so oh, oh, oh. I swear to God, just saw someone- Someone's here with us. Teresa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, my gosh. oh, 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 o
What? 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 Someone's touching my kneecap. <clears throat> Who are you? Why are you touching no. me? A very strong female. She... Who constantly kept whispering in my left ear. Is this going off? Watch it, whistle. Oh! No way. Are you the man that the woman saw? <laughs> we want answers. So right now we are on road to the Tatamagoose train station in here in Nova Scotia. And I think this has to be one of the coolest trains or anything to stay in here in the East Coast. Definitely. Like this spot dates all the way back to circa 1887, operated as a passenger train from 1887 all the way to 1960. And then after that used to transport goods like cars and all that jazz. It actually went abandoned at one point. Yeah, so... It was actually saved by an 18 year old at the time who repurposed everything and turned it into the inn that it is today. That's actually so dope. Yeah. Like. Yeah, because it was set for demolition. It so was. It was. It was set oh for demolition. Gosh. Yeah. And this one is so interesting because not only is it historic, but there's absolutely no talk of anything paranormal. It's like, like it's like either they keep it hush hush or. Yeah, like, yeah. if you go onto their website, it's everything but the paranormal, which kind of confuses me because so many historic spots, especially here, are labeled haunted. They're promoted haunted, but this spot, like, you can't find any history. When you go to Google this spot, there's very minimal history. No one talks about any sort of claim, like paranormal claim. And the reason why we're going tonight is because a woman named Martha emailed us with her experience. This is going to be pretty interesting because Martha turned the pages a little bit and turned shit around so basically she saw this shadow figure in caboose number six and it was wearing an old trench coat he was looking out the window apparently and he had this device she said his face looked like someone from a different time like you know how back in the 1800s everyone had that like different face yeah yeah different bone structure and stuff different too, right? bones yeah different bone structure different everything and she actually told her husband to turn around and he saw it too but he was your son and daughter a bit scary she went to go take a photo on her smartphone and within seconds they are out there so she the dead asked house somebody and she asked for a while apparently, apparently nobody You're was staying there for a while at the time okay Every business does its own thing. I'm single right now. There's a square built tool that can bring together every part of what you cool. built. I know. Looks like we're staying in. Finally, I can get to that redecorating part. So, important question. She asked around, apparently. Apparently, nobody was in caboose number six at the time, like Sweet. renting it out. And as soon as we Love heard baby that video, daddy. we looked at each other Love and we said, in the no brainer, we gotta go see it for ourselves. Yeah. So we actually booked Caboose number six, that's where we'll be staying this evening, and we figured the best way to see if Martha's claim is true is to investigate it for our own selves. Yeah. I kind of feel optimistic, like, you kind of have to take in consideration that it's a historic spot. There has to be some sort of energy there even if it's residual it may not be intelligent it could also be on the land right the land itself is very very old yeah, could be tied to the land right yeah. but like if you think about it the woman saw a man looking out the window it kind of seems like a residual type thing like he's replaying a memory replaying a memory yeah. stuck in a loop which is also a pain in the butt to Catch. capture Catching a residual spirit is one of the hardest things any ghost hunter can do. However, we don't know for sure if it's residual. Mm -hmm. 
right? So. But thankfully, we have the whole evening and the whole night to investigate and try to catch the yeah. spirit. I feel optimistic. How like how do you feel about yeah, it? Yeah, I feel good too. Like I, I feel like we might actually catch something. Either way, I think it's going to be really cool to investigate, really cool to experience for ourselves, and I've never slept in a train, so check that off my bucket list. I think at this point... One day I was so sad that it made me ill His boy said that he's sorry, but he doesn't feel Like he should have, or at least it's how I thought he should Since that day, I'm still wishing he would So we are unloading the car right now, and apparently to the guy, not a whole lot of people experience paranormal stuff here. I'm going to take that as some people do. Well, even he said that some staff have, like, made jokes and have said stuff about... That's true. Their like, there is, like, you're talking about that house. Yeah. That the, originally, the, the station. The station, yeah. station, yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's, like, a train station. We will show you guys. But not a whole lot of parents. I'm going to take that as there is paranormal activity. It's not talked about. It's not talked about. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this place. I can't believe this used to be a passenger train, man. Oh my god. Oh, you still have the chairs up here. Yeah, the conductor chairs. Oh my gosh. Cool. Oh my god. You think those are original? I think so. They said they tried to keep everything original in here, right? So. Yeah. Oh my god, this is actually so cool. That is cool. We could do Estes method up there. Yeah, that'd be you really cool. You sit in one, I'll sit in the other. Oh my god, this is gonna be so cool. What's over here? We got a bathroom. Oh my gosh. That is unreal, man. Yo! What the hell? How do you feel in here? Do you get like a weird feeling at all? Not yet, but again, like we literally just got here. Once I spend some more time, get some dinner in me, I'll be able to like pick up on it more. But this is really cool. Really Dude, cool. Dude, like this is crazy. I do kind of somewhat get a feeling in here, but yeah. I think we need to settle in a little bit more. Before we can actually get a clear entry. These are really cool. I definitely pick up something from these. Oh, really? Yeah. These I'm very, like, drawn to. These monkey bars? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> monkey bars here for adults? Hell, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the way you said, oh, my God, made me think that there's, like, a spirit behind me. I think we might need for a little bit of truth tonight. Like, this might actually turn out to be a good investigation. I kind of feel stuff in here. Yeah. Personally. It's going to be really cool. So we're going to start the A room with us right now. Can you make that light go off? All you have to do is walk in front of it. You don't know if that's going to... See, but even I'm like... The other times it went off, babe, look, I'm literally... We're in front of it right now. It's not even going off. Now it just went off, but the other times when it went off, I don't think it was us because I was standing here. I just did this path and it didn't go off. Yeah. Weird. So she wrote another paragraph saying, I told my husband to turn around and look at the caboose window and he saw it too. But then I went to look down towards my phone to take a photo and he wasn't there. In a matter of seconds, this man vanished as if it never happened. 
it was clear as day. This may not be an evil spirit, but maybe this is one of the old workers or someone involved with the train station from that period. Please look into this location because I think it has a lot to offer that most people don't pay attention to. It's also a beautiful place to spend the night, and the caboose are really nicely renovated for tourists. It's a shame they don't promote this place as haunted because I'm positive this place holds some sort of... So she said it's a shame they don't promote this place as haunted because I'm positive this place holds some strong energy. Hope you guys go, Martha. Hello? Alright, let's start the second camp and yeah. get this going ASAP. Alright. So we are officially starting the investigation. introduce ourselves. My name is Lamar. My name's Chelsea. And we've come tonight because of a claim someone had. Pretty soon we're going to go into the complete darkness. Do you want us to go into the darkness? Can you make a tap if you want us to go in the dark? tap as well. Are you in the back room? Can you tap if you're in the back room? If you're in the back room there, can you tap once for yes? Twice for no? This room. Same thing, tap once for yes, twice for no. Completely gone. I know. So when we were doing our live stream, there were so many taps, footsteps from where we are right now. And like some sort of knocking coming from that room. We gotta keep in mind that soldiers and people that were immigrating here from Pier 21 in Halifax are on this train at one point. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of history here. I also saw someone outside of that window during the live stream, remember? Yeah. And I don't know if it was a person, but I saw something. I thought you were going to say right now. Right? Oh, no. I remember that. Um, I swear to God, I almost saw someone too. I think I just saw someone. Where? Did any of the lights go off? I don't know. Go look. Could have been my eyes. Okay, so that camera is rolling. Ocean light's still there. The train. But it went like really slow. I don't know about three miles an hour. Like how fast would a train have gone? Pretty fast, usually when they're like full speed. A lot faster. Yeah. What do you mean by three miles an hour? I heard my name is. We told you our names. Can you please tell me yours?
Amber and Caboose 6. What if the 6 actually meant something to do with Caboose 6? You know what I mean? True. Have you ever had anyone come in here and try to talk to you before? How many passengers would have been in this caboose? <laughs> what did that say? I don't know. Can you repeat that, please? How many passengers would have been in this caboose? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. No. Can you tell me where you are? So, when we fuck, we're doing a fuck app. In the kitchen or in the, or in the room, yeah, like or my in the like lounge, or out more. here, in my room. Cool. What if I were to put it on one of these chairs and just sit here? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's where you got that. Yeah, that's where you got that together. That's this one. 